our honorable chief guest shri kiran asha and our guest of honor mr hamid al mamri have just arrived they are being received with the guard of honor by the school managing committee principal vice principal supervisors and head of departments our respected chief guests along with other guests has arrived i request everyone to kindly rise and receive them Honored to have with us Shri Kiran Usher, Group Managing Director, Alan Sari Group of Companies, as our chief guest. Thank you for your gracious presence, sir. The guest of honor today is Mr. Hamid Al Mamri, Manager, Bank Musket, Main Branch, Sohar. Welcome, sir. We also welcome all other dignitaries from the Ministry of Education and Bank Musket. Also, we proudly welcome the President of our School Managing Committee, Mr. Abraham George, the Convener of our School Managing Committee, Mr. Lalit Asher, and the Treasurer of our School Managing Committee, Mr. Ajay Damani. Thank you all the dignitaries for honoring us with your presence. As a mark of respect, please stand in attention for the Royal Anthem of Oman and National Anthem of India. Now, the President of our School Managing Committee, Mr. Abraham George, will accord floral welcomes to our Chief Guest, Shri Kiran Usher. Now, I call upon the convener, Shri Lalit Usher, to present a bouquet to our Guest of Honor, Mr. Hamid Al Mamri. I request the Treasurer of our School Managing Committee, Mr. Ajay Damani to extend floral welcomes to our special guests from Bank Musket. Now, I request our principal, Mrs. Sanchita Verma, to extend floral welcomes to our special guests from the Ministry of Education. Let's begin a remarkable evening of splendor, surprise and stunning performances. Being Indians, we are bequeathed with the legacy of carrying the torch of our heritage for all to see and admire. Keeping in tune with our tradition, we call upon the President of the School Managing Committee, Mr. Abraham George, a person who barely needs an introduction here, the most prominent guiding force of this school to deliver the welcome note. I request our Principal, Mrs. Sanchita Varma, to escort him. Assalamu alaikum, good evening, namaskar. Our chief guest, Sri Kiran Asher, Group Managing Director of Al Ansari Group of Companies. Our guest of honor, Mr. Hamid Al Mamri, Manager of Sohar's main branch at Bank Musket. Guests, principal, vice principal, teachers, staff, parents, and children of the school. On behalf of the members of our SMC, 
the School Managing Committee, I warmly welcome all of you to the 36th annual day of Indian School Sohar and are extremely grateful to all of you for your presence here this evening. The last annual day of our school was held physically on 21st November 2019, over three years ago prior to the pandemic. We express our sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty, Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, the government of Oman, and the citizens of Oman for their generosity and warmth in hosting nearly 650,000 Indian citizens in this beautiful country, which is our home away from home. ISS owes its existence, growth, and progress to the Banyan merchant community. This community manages three schools in Oman, including an international school in Muscat, to cater to the educational needs of Indian children. Nearly 10,000 children undergo education in these three schools, representing nearly a quarter of all Indian students participating in schools in the 20 schools in Oman. We are grateful to the managing committee for their guidance, dedication, constant unwavering support, and above all, a demonstration of true commitment to the furtherance of education of Indian children in Oman. Spearheading this drive is our chief guest, Sri Kirana Asher, a board member at the Banyan Merchant Community and a past board member of the Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Oman. Together with Sheikh Anil Khimji and Sri Rajendra Ving. An Irish poet, William Butler Eats wrote, and I quote, Education is not the filling of a pail, but the light, lighting of a fire, end of quote. Annual day brings out the essence of cultural di diversity and the rich heritage of India. Expression of creativity and imagination are portrayed by the students on this occasion together with a display of their talents. COVID put a dampener and set us all back considerably. Children suffered, parents were put under pressure to provide online facilities, and teachers went through a harrowing experience. Our staff also stood the test of time and met these challenges creditably. We at our school managing committee salute and applaud the principal, vice principal, all teachers and staff who continued the teaching and, and administrative processes with great difficulty and handicaps. Tragedies occurred during the two years of COVID with deaths in our school community, loss of jobs, reduced salaries, and the inability to travel to attend to the needs and at times to grieve over the loss of loved ones. Despite the fee reductions and declining student numbers, Indian School Sohar was able to maintain the salary levels of all employees without any reductions in emoluments. <laughs> Further, salaries were always paid on time throughout the two years. Indian School Chowar has a strength of 2,850 children, 150 teachers, and 26 staff members. The progress of a school is measured by its academic excellence, achievements in all-round development of the students, with substantial focus on discipline, development of infrastructure facilities, coupled with its ability to to empower teachers with 
constant training, training to excel in the exercise of imparting education of a very high standard to students at the school. Our quality of education must continue to be enhanced. Simultaneously, our vision is to continue our initiative to transform education to smart learning and to focus on the techniques and methods of education to be developed at the best levels while instilling strong discipline and cultural values coupled with strong ties to our motherland. We encourage all our children in the school to stay focused, be well disciplined, respect all people in society, and to persevere and work hard. Children in classes one to eight are in their formative years. We urge parents to pay close attention to their children for their studies, and particularly towards discipline in an era where social media can produce negative, undesired results. We believe that parents are the main influence in the lives of children. Part of our goal is to build a relationship with the child and with the family. As your child develops a sense of trust in the teachers and the school environment, they learn to separate from you with confidence, knowing that you will return at the end of the day, end of the day to take the child home. We respect each child's need to experience the separation process in his or her own way and are here to help the children express their feelings as they build meaningful relationships with us. We, we believe that when a child's social and emotional needs are met, he or she can participate fully in the wide range of learning opportunities available here at the school. Children will become familiar with the routines of a classroom environment and benefit from gaining a sense what it is like to be part of a larger group. Our teachers are completely aware that teaching is a duty and not merely a profession. They are role models often taking the place of parents. We are indeed appreciative of the considerable efforts put in by our teachers to foster more, more well-rounded pupils and to become better human beings. The curriculum is so much necessary raw material, but warmth is the vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of the child. Our staff continue to lend vital and considerable support for the various activities in the school. Several challenges lie ahead of us, including further recruitment of teachers despite limitations, accommodating the needs of challenged children, career counseling, constant and continual monitoring of discipline of children. We are confident that we will meet these challenges successfully with the assured and continued active support of the Banyan merchant community and the authorities in Oman. Mrs. Sanchita Varma and her team are determined to continue to raise the bar to achieve greater heights in academic excellence and to attain the development of each child's potential in a very competitive environment. I would like to end with two inspirational quotes. Entrepreneur Malcolm Forbes stated, and I quote, education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one, end of quote. Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations affirmed, and I quote, knowledge is power, 
Information is liberating. Education is the premise of progress in every society, in every family, end of quote. Going forward, we believe that the best is yet to be. Please enjoy the program. Jai Bharat. I request the school captains to escort Abraham George, sir, back to his seat. Thank you, sir. School is a building which has four walls with tomorrow inside, says Lawn Waters. It is here we gain insights into the mysteries of life. It is here we weave our future and feel like saluting it. Indian school so hard epitomizes strength, dedication, hard work and success and teamwork. Along with multifarious struggles and triumphs, there is much more to throw and much more to rejoice. Let's rejoice the majestic journey this establishment had up to now. It's time to update our activities and achievements for the academic session 2021-2022. When we speak about the progress and achievements of the school, there is one driving force that stands apart like the pole star. The achievements, the progress, and the glory of Indian School Sohar would not have been possible but for her deep insight and innovative ideas. It is none other than our beloved principal, Mrs. Sanchita Verma, whose perseverance and dedication are commendable. Give a big hand to the brain behind this magnificent function. We proudly welcome our principal to present the annual report. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Namaskar. Swagat. Vandan. Abhinandan. Chief guest on the occasion, Shri Kiranashar, guest of honor, Mr. Hamid Al Mamri, President School Managing Committee, Mr. Abraham George, Mr. Lalita Shar, Mr. Ajay Damani, invited guests, dignitaries, parents, staff members, and dear students. On this joyous occasion, I would like to express sincere gratitude to His Majesty Sultan Hatam bin Tariq and pray for his good health and long life. We wish continued glory, progress and prosperity to Oman and its citizens. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of ISS family. It is heartwarming to see all the guests and parents gathered here to witness this grand program. We are delighted to have dignitaries from Muscat amongst us. I cordially and respectfully welcome all the guests who gladly accepted our invitation and graced this very special occasion. Annual function is a day to showcase talent, to rejoice the bliss of accomplishments and celebrate achievements. Brilliant beaming faces of these children hold the luminous picture of a joyful, vibrant future. A future filled with compassion, goodness, hope, happiness, and optimism. It is an enduring tradition to take time to pause, turn around, to look at the fruitful year gone by, achieving all the expected and unexpected, while setting various milestones and then synergizing ourselves to move ahead, to face the challenges in the coming year with a positive attitude. When one looks back at the past year, there is a satisfying feeling to see clear evidence of sustainability and sustainability both in academics and administration, be it the school curriculum, co-curricular programs, sports, and many more. With great pleasure, I present to you the annual report of our school for the session 22-23. Here are the glimpses. Academics, we have made our mark in Oman again with Aman Saji topping Oman in 10th and two students, science stream and commerce stream, securing setting positions. We are consistent in producing good results in our positions in Oman and at the level of Gulf 15, 18, 19, 21, and 22. Khelogay kudogay, banogay la jabab, padogay likhogay, banogay nabab is the, the new adage. Our victories at Oman level in sports. Our students are regularly participating in inter school events and bringing laurels.
Now when we are watching this program our junior and final team is at Muscat participating in his quiz. Ladies and gentlemen wish them good luck. Artificial intelligence and coding are now part of school curriculum. Leadership Co-curricular activities are meant to bring social skills, intellectual skills, moral values, personality progress and character appeal in students. These include sports, cultural events, library activities, science lab activities, classroom activities, creative art, art integration, experiential learning, inculcating charity. And I want to thank all the parents for the support teachers having their share of fun competitions in the school a variety our events are regularly updated on our website and also on our social media page it's not possible to showcase all the events these are just a few glimpses education is dynamic and continuously evolving relations between india and oman have been robust the school further help strengthening the relationship by organizing mutual exchange programs so these were very limited glimpses and i'm sure parents are regularly hitting our website and also the social media pages where each and every activity is being updated dear parents what we expected and observed is that the children have become very lonely more than ever before using more gadgets and this is making them more emotional and more vulnerable vulnerability of children has increased and they need your guidance and support post pandemic teachers are also facing new challenges dealing with altered behavior online educational and e learning apps and competition with search engine google it will take some more time to restore normalcy today is a special evening for me it was a warm humid august morning when i landed at the muscat airport 10 years back day one and i was looking at all strange new faces who are a family now i do not know how fast these 10 years passed but one thing is sure these years were incredible for me and i am very happy and proud to be a part of indian school sohar it has been a wonderful journey a milestone it has been a journey i relished every minute of it it has been a major influence on my personal and professional life hitting the big 10 with indian school sohar has made me quite retrospective and it is impossible not to look back and ponder so today i look back to move forward sincere gratitude to the school managing committee for providing opportunity and entrusting their faith and confidence in me today i have my colleagues with me who are completing 10 15 20 and even 30 years of glorious service and this speaks volumes about the school management in terms of staff retention i would like to use this platform to thank everyone personally for everything they have done for me over the last 10 years and i'm sure they are prepared for again next 10 years thanks to everyone who helped and supported me during this journey sincere thanks to our benevolent benefactors mahajans heartful gratitude to the ministry of education indian embassy board of directors and all those who support and help us team iss i am grateful to have you as my colleagues 
your support remains invaluable on any given day at work. You always go above and beyond to make sure everything we do is a success. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. I'm sure we will continue to strive to excel further with the same zeal and enthusiasm. But as they say, the best is yet to be. Thank you and happy viewing.